of how exposed that third base is. If Murder doesn't use Hellions effectively, he may find that he cannot get up to that third base in order to stop a Zerg 3 base. Yeah, Dual Sight, one of the, the newer maps compared to a Metalopolis or a Zelnaga Caverns, it is just so wide open, and Zerg has all these different counterattack patterns, speedlings that uh, can be very good, and like you said, that third is very wide open. I'll have to say the only thing is that third is a little bit farther from the, uh, the natural than other maps, so if you don't have good creep spread, uh, it can be sort of difficult to defend that against certain timing pushes. Some sort of tank and stim pushes can be very effective, depending on the positioning for the Terran. But I'll let you introduce the players as we get underway here. All right, we have LZ Gamer spawning as the blue Zerg at the 9 o'clock position. Meanwhile, we have Murder spawning as the purple Terran here at the 3 o'clock position. There's only two two spawning locations, so the other play or the players already know where the other is at, and we'll see what's gonna come of this. It looks like Murder will be opening up, and he will be doing a traditional wall off here on on dual site, making sure that no Zerglings are able to simply run by, and we'll see what LZ Gamer tries to go for. Um, you know, 15, 16 hatchery is an option. Then again, a spawning pool hatch is also an option as well. And it looks like it's going to be... Nope, I spoke too soon. You say option for 15, 16 hatch, but it's basically the standard. We, we hardly see deviations from that in this matchup. And that's interesting because it's sort of been the standard for a while now. And Terran really hasn't found a build that can really take advantage of that... Uh, that early hatch or the hatch first play mostly because they made it so you have to create a supply depot before barracks basically uh shut down that seven or eight racks play that we saw uh in the early early days of sc2 so zerg feels very comfortable going hatch first here whether it's 15 or 16 supply we'll have to say all right we'll see what's going to happen next murder is going for gas now so um options are either i believe a reaper expansion or reactor hellions at this stage and we'll see what if he goes back to the traditional as um lz gamer is gonna come up the ramp there is not gonna be a supply depot to finish off this wall in, and he will get that crucial scouting information meanwhile murder is gonna go into the natural expansion spot the hatchery and pretty much know eh i can't really stop you yeah, he doesn't have a second rack started, so he's not going to be able to put on too much pressure. I'd say that one interesting thing we've seen from, from Murder recently is in this matchup, he sends his first Marine or two across the uh, the field, and with that SCV, sometimes throws down a uh, sort of a fake bunker, trying to uh, go to a little bit of an overreaction out of the, the Zerg player, but already we've seen a gas steal by LZ Gamer, so I don't think that's going to be an option for Murder. He has to take his first Marine, start working on that extractor, and once again, we talk about builds not being possible or basically shut down certain builds. LZ Gamer shuts down a lot of builds here by taking that, uh, that second gas and stealing it right away. Yeah, and I think this is a really, really smart move by LZ Gamer. By denying this gas or uh, essentially delaying this gas, what he's doing is he's forcing his opponent to either uh, be aggressive with Marines, which Zerglings on creep can I easily counter with Banelings, or turn into a macro game. And then the longer the game is, especially on a map like Dual Sight, where Zerg has a number of flanking options, and it's difficult to establish your third for, as a Terran because of those flanking options, I think um, LZ Gamer is just trying to force and tip his player's hand, as we should be seeing a command center now coming in from Murder. Yeah, I mean, at this point, stealing that gas isn't a huge deal because the uh, the current metagame is basically to get out those Hellions and Hellion expand. We hardly ever see, uh, you know, Banshee play, Cloak, or Two Port, and we hardly ever see those really heavy gas uh, early timing attacks where you have like a Stim and then an early Siege tank, which might require two gas. So not a huge deal. We'll see Murder not even taking that second gas, but just wants to make sure that that's, uh, that's taken down and... He knows that uh, you know that's possible anytime he chooses to. But like you said, uh, the command center about halfway done on the low ground right now. LZ Gamer started that uh, that spine crawler back at home, and that's such a smart move. Basically, standard at this point in this matchup to get at least one spine to defend against these early Hellions. Yeah, and and also I normally like to see an evolution chamber or some sort of Sim City so that the Hellions can't zip up the ramp all too easily. We'll see what's coming in as Murder now starting to wall off this second entrance inside this base and getting up another supply depot here hellions are still being added um, it looks like he is already or still supply blocked once again at 36 over 36 uh, no sorry 37 over 43 now as we see the zerg um, was supply blocked for a little bit of time at 36 over 36 and speed is about to finish there's only 
two Hellions so far, and if LZ's Gamer is able to get a bit of a flank here, he might be able to get a surround on these uh, Hellions, especially if they get on creep a little bit. Right now, it looks like he's going for uh, just some map control. Has those links at that uh, north west tower and it looks like he's going for a little bit of a counter here but already there's a bunker about to finish and some hellions there to greet those links we might have a run by here the supply depot is raised at just the last second all those links going to be for naught yeah really really nice play there by murder remembering to complete the wall off and not allowing a run by hellions still just dancing with these queens and this is kind of dangerous fighting on creep the zerglings have a very very fast movement speed over six in the game essentially a 50 percent movement speed bonus all over those hellions as the hellions are now trying to get more damage across gets the creep tumor just by accident and lz gamer is gonna be forced to spend more energy once again energy queens and he's also making a lot of links he just lost a huge pack of them with that counter attack and now he needs a ton of them to try to take on these uh, Hellions, pulling some drones there, not really sure about that. Uh, actually pulling a few drones to try to limit the damage while these Lings come out. We've got 22 Lings on the way, but if they stream in here just a little at a time, these Hellions going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, right now Murder does have two Hellions in the red. He may want to retreat back home. There are a lot of Zerglings looking to poke perhaps up the ramp again. We are no longer getting any more Hellions as the Zerglings are now going to come in for a flank. They may be able to clean this up. This is not going to be good. The Hellions now going to be able to take down some of the Zerglings as they do a run by. And wow, LZ Gamer losing another pack of Lings to non-Blue Flame Hellions. Yeah, if we look at the units lost so far, 25 units lost, mostly uh, in Zerglings and a drone or two there, and just one Hellion lost so far. So economy-wise, Murder is ahead 40 to 35, looking really strong right now, 63 to 58. And Murder now being very gutsy, uh, deciding to yeah. establish his third base well before the Zerg. Uh, we'll see whether or not that pays off well for him. Murder definitely needs to get that into a planetary fortress. There is currently... N uh, engineering bay now being built it is going to be some time but a planetary fortress absolutely perfect to try to handle all of those zerglings you know, we've talked a lot about murders game so far but back in the base of lz gamer he's getting a, a uh, layer up a little bit of a late layer but he spent his early gas on evolution chambers and getting early upgrades so he's going for a very ling centric early upgrade heavy uh play and that's good on maps we've talked about before where you get those easy two bases at the start. You don't have quite enough gas to go for a fast lair and to go for some sort of tech, whether it's infestors or mutas. Instead, you're going to go for a macro hatch. You're going to go for zergling upgrades. You're really going to take map control. And uh, this sort of tech can really crush any sort of mid-game timing attacks by Terran. Siege tanks uh, and stim timing attacks just get crushed by 1-1 links. We'll see what LZ Gamer is going to do. He does have an Overlord in position to, s to spot that additional command center there, but it's already upgrading to a planetary fortress. The Hellions doing a good job dancing with those Lings, yeah. getting in even more kills as we are now going into traditional siege tech. And I think this is the first time we've seen Murder almost play straight up. And with that planetary fortress, these Zerglings are not going to be able to do anything at all unless they try to Baneling roll into this. Yeah, we see the planetary and LZ Gamer so far just losing more and more links. 44 units lost so far. I mean, they're just links, so they don't cost a lot. You make two with 50 minerals. And we see a, uh, a run in here. It looks like a drop in the main. At the same time, we've got the Hellions in the natural here doing some economic damage. That drop might be shut down. Uh, a pick up there. Pretty quick murder losing for those Marines, but they're able to focus down a number of drones. So far, 12 drones killed by murder, and murder just keeps the aggression going here. So Murder doing a great job in this matchup so far, and we'll see if he's going to be able to continue this. As he is running off of more bases, you can see that LZ Gamer's trying to expand to his third. Zergling's now making their way over. The Marines do spot this here, and they, they do know that there was an expansion, and now the Marines are just going to pick up and leave. There are still no, There is still no Spire in play, yeah. uh, and without a Spire, he's not going to really be able to handle these medevac drops all across the map. It's going to be very tough to uh, you know, handle those medevacs and to kill the marines cost effectively with just links. He's working on 2-2. He's got baneling speed about to finish, but I'm not sure that 2-2 is going to hit by the time the uh, these siege tanks and marines and marauders make their way to the, uh, the base of LZ Gamer. 
Yeah, right now, Marines are trying to split back here. The Siege Tank, oh, gets a nice hit on the Banelings. Many of the Banelings go down. Some Banelings find their target. And now, Murder going to continue this pressure up the ramp. And now, into this third base well before LZ Gamer is, has the opportunity to transfer any units. Going to clean up some Creep Tumors first as more Banelings are now being hatched. I'm not sure whether that was a focus fire by that Siege Tank or whether it was just blind luck, but that Siege Tank hit those Banelings, took down five or six Banelings there, and there were just a few left. They weren't able to do a lot of damage to the uh, the Marine Force here for Murder. Murder is 0-0 zero, zero right now, so it looks like LZ Gamer are going to try to take advantage, go for a bit of a flank. The Siege Tanks are not in Siege mode for Murder at this point, so this flank might do some damage there or speed Banelings on the way as well, so we'll see as he tries to make his way into the natural here. Again, no Siege mode for Murder. And now the supply depots do go up. Banelings are going to find their target. Take down multiple SCVs here. SCVs are trying to run. Supply depots are going to fall. And this is going to be a just devastating blow to Murder, who had such a commanding lead. Banelings now going to try to make their way up the ramp. Marines are here, there to protect. And it looks like the supply depots may get taken out. There goes one supply depot. Multiple supply depots are now on fire, as Murder may end up being supply blocked. Yeah, and this is exactly what LZ Gamer needs. He just took down 18 workers, so he basically evens things up. Actually, rockets ahead, 57 to 45 workers, and that little bit of counterattack, and we talked about this map, how it's good for Zerg. They're able to have all these different paths for attack. He was able to bypass the army of Murder that was across the field. Murder did not have a siege tanks back at home in siege position, didn't have that bunker loaded up, and it really cost him. Yeah, it really did cost them 56 harvesters to 47, as you mentioned. A new hatchery finally being established by LZ Gamer. We'll see what he's going to be doing now. Zerglings are hiding off to the north. More supply depots and making sure that that, that wall off has been completed. And now SCVs being triply trained still as we are going into Zerglings and Infestors and also Burrow. And Murder, in his haste to get back there, actually left some naked... Uh siege tanks out across the map he just lost both of them so his siege count uh pretty low at this point just three and there are infestors out at this point they've got a, a lot of energy almost enough for two fungal growth so depending on the timing and the positioning here i think murder's next push really gonna be shut down yeah marauder marauders and marines are in position are they gonna be able to take down the hatchery that is the key question there there's a fungal growth trying to pick up all the units but chain fungal growth plus infested terrans this is going to get countered and murder is in trouble he needs to get them he needs to get the heck out of there all the medevacs will get cleaned up and murder with now only a 20 food advantage but he still does have one medevac in play on the far side of the map and he still does have the food advantage i mean at this point we want zerg about 20 to 25 food ahead of the Terran player and almost a base ahead, but Murder has been able to run off these three bases for a decent amount of time. LZ Gamer has really taken steps here to get back into this one, and now that he has Infestors on the field, uh, Murder is definitely not going to be able to push out without any sort of siege tech uh, to try to focus down those Infestors and really prevent those fungals from eating alive those Marines and Medivacs. Yeah, right now we are going into Hive Tech. That's the only thing, the lane 3-3 upgrades now. Meanwhile, Murder has start, has finished 1-1, about to start 2-2, or actually more than halfway done with 2-2, as we'll see what Murder does. There is one Planetary Fortress, a Missile Turret is going to shoot down um, an Overlord, I believe. No, down to 9 hit points, but it does spot a Medivac flying across the map. We'll see if any units do make their way over to this hatchery at the 9 o'clock position. As a drop now coming in, is it going to perhaps try to take down some drones and take down this hatchery over here at the three at the six o'clock position zerglings now making their way in marines are picked back up and now this drop is going to get countered and perhaps it's just going to be a, a straight drop into the main base but there are two spine crawlers in position medevacs preventing um lz gamer from being able to do any serious push as of as of yet yeah, we saw him in position there, morphing in a lot of Banelings, and it looks like he was going to go for an attack, but then those Medivacs pushed out, and one of them was spotted by an Overlord, and now he sort of has to pull back. He doesn't have Muta, so he can't hunt down those Medivacs. He knows they're on the field, and the uh, the threat is still there. He might have to split some Infestors and maybe split off some, uh, some Lings. He does have a pack of Lings at his southern base, so that's pretty smart, but no defenses at that northwestern base for him yet. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what's going to happen. This is starting to turn into a very long macro game. And I wasn't expecting this at the start of the matchup. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen here as we now um, as we now see Marines and Siege Tanks all just clustered together. Uh, a Fungal Growth would deal a lot of damage, but I don't believe Infestors would get anywhere near that pack. Ghosts are now being added as level 3 weapons upgrade. And I believe level 3 armor upgrades will be uh, followed up shortly. 
So let's talk about the uh, supplies a little bit here. 149 to 200 now. Murder just maxed out. Murder's been focusing mostly on macro here. He's made a lot of units. And LZ Gamer really going for tech. He's got 3-3 three, three on the way. He does have that hive tech. I'm not sure what uh, hive tech he's actually chosen yet. He doesn't have ultras or the uh, the spire yet. So he's just going for adrenal glands and 3-3. Three, three. So sort of going for a little bit of tech there. But he's really behind in supply at this point. I think Murder needs to do some sort of push. Take down that initial wave of banelings and infestors. And then with a secondary push, probably try to end it. Yeah, we'll see what's going to happen now. Overlords are now making their way in. You can see a trail of units across the north. They're going to try to flank in and attack this um, 9 o'clock base. The Marines are going to get cleaned up here. Down they go. Siege tanks, are they going to siege in time? It doesn't look like it as the Zergians and Marines are going to engage. The Zergians all being forced to pull back here as we now have an attack on the main bay or the third... The fourth base now here. Zerglings look like they may try to do a run by once again, and this front door is completely wide open again. So just murder just with one ghost gonna get swarmed in by Zerglings, and the supply depot has been t destroyed already. No chance of a, a wall to prevent this as base trades may become apparent. Yeah, LZ Gamer gonna throw away a lot of these uh, banelings there just on SCVs. He wants to make sure not to lose any there, and there's some great baneling hits and some burrowed banelings going off as well. Murder forced to pull back here, get into siege mode. We'll see how much damage these siege tanks are able to do to these banelings and the infestors. A little bit of surround here attempting to happen by LZ Gamer. The supply is very even now, 124 to 132. Murder did take down a base for LZ Gamer, did not lose his orbital command, but he did lose the majority of his army. And now LZ Gamer dumping all those saved minerals and gas into army himself, takes the supply lead, 151 to 150. Nope, just switched as I was saying that. All right, it looks like a planetary fortress on the top left is going to get cleaned up. It will lift off and able to lift off in time, only to catch on fire. Zerglings have 3-3 upgrades, no Terran steel plating upgrade to try to prevent or protect that there. It looks as though the command center needs to pull back in order to be repaired. We'll see what's going to happen. Harvester count now sitting at 41 to 69. Murder with still the food advantage, but now going to get his drop cleaned up at the third base again. Yeah, and especially considering the worker count, if you, if you think about the army count, murder really far ahead in army supply, it is 129 to just 83 army supply, so uh, sure, LZ Gamer definitely going to be able to remake his army as Zerg players definitely can, and he's working on his fifth base now, uh, trying to defend against these drops by murder, but if murder's able to push out here, I still think that he could definitely do a lot of damage to the army and the economy of LZ Gamer, but he has to have some sort of defense to guard against those counters. Yeah, he, a supply depot's something to eat up eat up some of this as we now see scanner sweeps are making their way out. Overlords are getting shot around. He wants to make sure he doesn't lose a large group of units to banelings any further. Zerglings now making their way in. We'll see what's going to be happening here. The siege tanks are now being forced to pull back. The Zerglings are so fast on this map, able to get across, and it looks as though there is one siege tank and only one siege tank. What's going to happen here? A, a little bit of a yin-yang battle as that Overlord has been there for so long providing just crucial scouting information, finally getting destroyed. Yeah, and looks like LZ Gamer are going to try to position here to take down that third, but nice supply depots and that planetary fortress could prevent that. Murder is sort of biding his time in the center, doesn't know whether he wants to attack, though he is sending a small contingent to try to take down this gold base, or the what used to be the gold base, uh, for LZ Gamer. And it looks like LZ Gamer once again going to do a counterattack. This time there are siege tanks in siege mode here, and it looks like Murder going to try to pinch this army. There's a lot of investors here trying to get off Funko Gross, but actually a nice EMP or two goes off. So just a few fungi is going to be possible here. Murder still has the army advantage, and he does have Ghost working, sniping down those, uh, those infestors. There are a few infested Terran being spawned here, but Murder will be able to clean those up and takes a decisive food advantage, 165 to 120. So what, yeah, 165 to 120 infestors not even bothering to burrow this time. They're going to get cleaned up. And now it is going to be a group of Marauders and Marines attempting to take down the Extractor here and perhaps deal some damage. Zerglings are going to clean up this attack force. No medevac nearby as um, Murder is still somehow throwing away units. 
Yeah, let's talk about the state of the economy. 68 to uh, 34. And so double the number of workers for LZ Gamer, but that makes up a lot of his supply. 114 and 68 as harvesters, but he doesn't have those harvesters in decent position. A lot of them are at his natural, not doing anything. He has yet to saturate that fourth base as there's just been a lot of pressure all game. He basically only has one mining base with drones on it, and that's his third, where Murder is trying to establish his, uh, his fourth, but he just does not have the same drone or worker count the LZ Gamer has. Yeah, it's really important to take a look at the Harvester count, but then take a look at where they're mining, and just the number of idle workers for LZ Gamer was so high, he's gonna oversaturate this third base as the fourth base is once again gonna fall, and this hatchery I do not believe had any minerals or it's very few minerals ever mined from it at all. Yes, yeah, so Murder really controlling the economy, taking down hatcheries here, and LZ Gamer really playing this uh, this style where he's just going to use a lot of lings and a lot of uh, infestors to try to control the game. But if he does not have minerals, which Zerg usually does not really want for in a game like this, but uh, you know, Murder's taking down all these bases, really preventing LZ Gamer from having that bank, being able to resupply anytime a big engagement happens. Marines now doing a perfect drop on the bottom right-hand side of the map. Drones walking to their death. A couple of them did get taken out. Zerglings now going to make their way in as well. And we'll see what's going to happen here as the Zergling Swarm most likely going to try to take uh, and finish off the rest of those Marines. One Marine taking down two Banelings in a sacrifice as we now see the main attack force of Murder coming back in from the north. And finally, we see a Spire coming in from LZ Gamer. Yeah, he's going to have to dump all that gas into something. He's got uh, 2,000 gas. He really doesn't have the minerals to keep up with this massive Ling army. Right now, he only has 11 Ling, so Murder's pushing into the natural here. Might be able to make his way into the and take down some important uh, tech buildings. Spawning pools and Baneling nests could be very good. And he is in a great position in this small choke. It's going to be very hard to flank and get a nice surround here for LZ Gamer. He's trying to come out with links here. He's got 30 of them here, but they're coming from different hatcheries. The natural hatchery does go down. Murder's got a great position here. Yeah, Murder has a great position. Marines and Marauders now making their way in. It looks like the hatcheries could fall. We'll see what the Zerglings are going to do. The Zerglings could try to run into this essentially fourth base by Murder, but Murder doesn't have the Supply Depot's protection. Meanwhile, we see Marauders and Banelings. Oh, the Medivacs getting fungal growth, and LZ Gamer is going to clean up all of the Medivacs here as the Marines and Marauders are now finally trying to make their way over. One Medivac down, two, three down as the Vikings don't have anything to hit. There's some snipes and some EMPs as well. Yeah, EMP is not making great connection with the infestors. There's still a few infestors with fungals left, but still just a lot of siege tanks. Murder has, uh, looks like nine siege tanks, 20 Marines, 18 Marauders. Right now, the forces of LZ Gamer, just seven Lings, 21 Banelings, and six infestors. So once those Banelings explode, they're gone, and he doesn't have a lot of forces besides those infestors. LZ Gamer now in, problem, in trouble as he is supply blocked. 106 over 96, actually upside down on food, and he will need a lot more overlords. He's gonna lose his hive tech. He does have the 3 3 upgrades. There's another drop on the bottom right hand side of the map. Zerglings, the hatchery's gonna go down here. Spawning pool, Zerglings and Marines trying to fight back against the rest of all of these units. Banelings are gonna make their way in. May they get picked up in time? Banelings are gonna try to roll their way in, taking down the Marauders, but there is only so many Banelings left as they are just a one hit wonder. Yeah, this. Un a good move by LZ Gamer. He just completed another spawning pool, so creating a spawning pool right before the one in his main probably going to be taken down. I really like that move. I wish more Zergs would do it. You really can't afford any time or any period of time where you cannot make lings, especially with his style. He just has four lings right now, 27 bane lings, so he's hoping to make some good connections with those bane lings, but still so many marauders and so many siege tanks, both pretty good against bane lings. Yeah, we'll see what's going to happen next. We can see that LZ Gamer is still sitting on a lot of gas. He could try to go for a mass infestor army if he actually had an infestation pit. He doesn't at this stage. Banelings Nest is going to start to uh, bleed away. The only building that won't is the extractor. It looks like Vikings are going to continue to make their way forward, perhaps clean up all of these overlords. And if they clean up the overlords, LZ Gamer is going to be really um, just larva limited as well as he's going to be focusing on larva to retrain up overlords. 
Maybe LZ Gamer is waiting for a good position here. I mean, he d does have these banelings, so if he's able to catch this force out of siege mode, he might be able to take down the Marines and Marauders and some of the banelings, but really doesn't have a lot of links here to follow all those banelings up. Right now, just 23 links. He's creating more right now that his spawning pool has finished, and he does have his, uh, what would have been his fifth maybe, but he has two mining bases at this point. Still a decent drone count, 41 compared to the 38 of Murder, but Murder is maxed out with only 38 SC so that is going to be a lot of army uh he still has i mean if you look at murders natural he's he's just got basically a second army basically the same size as his army in the natural of gamer yeah I, I don't think i remember the last time i saw a player with 200 200 food and only 38 workers it, it's just simply unheard of as it looks like another drop now coming in marines and marauders making their way in banings no spawning pool might get sniped we'll see what's going to be happening here banings are now trying to make their way in drones do not take any of that splash damage there now trying to continue to fight take down more workers workers slowly and steadily getting taken out and what is this baneling landmines by lz gamer preparing just in case these marauders and the marines do step over them and LZ taking another base here, probably a smart move. He's got the minerals at this point, and he is supply blocked. As you mentioned, the uh, the Vikings taking down that big pack of overlords. Typically, Zerg players have the overlords, at least most of them, uh, towards the late game all together. So if the Vikings are able to find that pack of overlords, they can do a ton of damage. So LZ forced to create a number of overlords. And like you said, that just really limits his larva as well. We'll see what's going to happen here. Queen now taken down. And what's strange about Murder's army is because there isn't a lot of Mutilists, there isn't a lot of Marines. And without a lot of Marines, those Banings are not nearly as effective. Um, Banings can try to go bust up against Marauders, but LZ Gamer is still in trouble. We might... Oh, there's a couple snipes there. Infestors trying to make their way in. Banings were able to suicide themselves into siege tanks. Perhaps a couple more Banings will get destroyed here. Murder down to 169 compared to 55 food and now all murder needs to do is move out with this massive army that's sitting at his natural yeah i mean that was a nice flank by lz gamer he got the uh the contact that he needed with those banelings he was able to take him down and he's able to clean up this force but murder has one just the same size right behind it it is now moving across the map and yeah lz gamer i think spots that with the baneling at the tower and there's the gj